Email to Case Premium is part of the Service Experience Suite, a collection of tools aimed at improving the way customer support is delivered through Salesforce. The suite will improve on responsiveness, utilization, personalization, and feedback collection. Email to Case Premium, or e to cp for short, offers specific functionality that can improve on the first three pillars. Let's see how. As an agent, I can see all of the cases that I own. And so far today, support seems to be going fairly well. My cases seem to be handled, other than this bright red flag giving me a warning down here. This is case flags, which is also part of the service experience suite, and among other things, will warn agents of cases that have long wait times or maybe getting close to breaching any service level agreements that we may have. So my attention is focused on this case, and I know which one to prioritize at this moment. Let's take a look at this one specifically. With email to case premium, the agent experience when viewing a case is dramatically improved. Shared inboxes, email related lists, cluttered case feeds are no longer needed since E2CP displays all case communication and updates in what we call this timeline. Here I can see uh, status changes, priority changes. Let's scroll down to the bottom to see uh, exactly what's taken place so far. So this customer has reached out apparently with a problem uh, with their laptop not receiving a charge. They've actually included an image or a screenshot that makes it easy for me to see exactly what this problem is. So that's fantastic for me as an agent. I'm able to understand this problem and I have a lot more context. Unfortunately for me, I've never seen this issue before, so I don't know exactly what to do next. I changed the priority from medium to high, and I've used a private comment to reach out to my manager, Mickey, asking for some help. Private comments are never viewable by customers. Only public comments are. So this thread of private comments will never be shared even when I send a public comment to the customer next. My manager did get back to me, which is great. He told me that unfortunately this is becoming a more common occurrence and that a canned comment has been created, which will help me. Canned comments are pre-written responses to either common issues or issues that are difficult to write out every time that case pops up. And so this helps me learn about the issue without having to rewrite it every time I see it. And fortunately, if this is going to be a common occurrence, I'm expecting to see this case more regularly. This canned comment will help me save time when responding to these specific issues. Before I write this public comment, a couple other benefits that the timeline offers. It does give you the ability to search through comments. So if case communication gets very long, not only can you scroll to find what you're looking for, but you can search for specific words or keywords using this search box. And I can also filter updates. Maybe I only want to see the public comments to know exactly what's been said between myself and the customer. I am ready to send that public comment, so let's go ahead and click the public comment button. Uh, and this brings me to the new comment page. This mimics an email inbox, so it should be very intuitive to users. Over on the left, I have this optional slide out, which would not only give me a summary and some basic background on the case, but also the ability to edit fields. This should cut down on my time in managing this case because I'm editing and updating the fields at the same time I'm creating my response. Just like in my email, I'm able to contact manage so I can see the two individuals that are going to receive my email now. If I want to remove someone, I can easily do that. I can also add them back either to CC or BCC recipients. And then maybe I also want to add some other folks to receive this message. For example, maybe the account owner should know about this issue with their customer so I can BCC them simply by typing their name and then adding them in the search results. As far as the new comment that I want to send to this customer, I do have the ability to start typing things out through freehand, or since I mentioned earlier that this is a canned comment, I can start to find that canned comment and insert it right into the message for me. So this has done the job for me. It comes complete with merge field, so it's going to personalize the message. The canned comments, as well as free 
text uh, responses will support different formats. Here I can see I've got indentations, I've got bold text, and I've got an image along with this canned comment. So I don't need to send it as an attachment. I have that option if I want to, but the inline image experience is much better for customers and with this canned comment, that image was actually saved along with the text. There are other updates that I can do. Uh, I can see other attachments, or as I mentioned, if I wanted to upload new ones, not have them in line, I can do that. You can also see that the draft has been saved. So in case I navigate away from this tab or this browser, I don't need to worry about losing my entire work. Once I'm ready, I can go ahead and click the Save, Send, Comment. This will do a couple things. It will update the case fields if I've changed them. It will post this comment to the timeline. I can see it here. It will also post this comment to any communities that you may have synced up with Salesforce. And of course, it will email the customer and the other recipients directly so that they know exactly what to do next. There are many productivity gains with Email to Case Premium, as well as the Greater Service Experience Suite. Uh, what I would implore anyone to do, if you are interested, go to our website. You can see what other benefits or gains may be accomplished with any of the solutions that are part of this suite. You can also go to the App Exchange and install a free trial to get some hands-on experience.